Spectral analysis, it's a very big concept, huge concept, very interesting concept and, and it is most useful in signal processing and communication applications. So before going to all the things, today what I want to discuss under this spectral analysis is only one thing I will concentrate that what we call as Fourier series because in 20 minutes I thought I can cover only this thing and not the entire part of Fourier series how we arrive at Fourier series how that represents a spectrum all the things we will discuss okay before going to this spectrum and spectral analysis or that, that thing we call as communication we will call as frequency response analysis before going to that how many of you know what is the word frequency have you heard the word frequency what is the definition of frequency? Repetition. Repetition. Yes, that means if some quantity repeats with certain time period, within that, that time period, inverse of that time period we call is the frequency of the quantity. Right? So, here I want to ask you something. <coughs> and before going to ask this question, I, I, I would like to tell you one more thing. All of you know mathematics, right? All of you are very much familiar with mathematics. Not very much. At least intermediate level mathematics, plus two level mathematics, is fine, right? In, a basic integration, vector operations, and all the things, that is fine. And one more thing I would like to tell you that signal, what is a signal? In mathematics, we call it as a function. A communication engineer calls it as a signal, whereas the independent variable is the time for a communication engineer or a signal processing engineer. Let us say we take some function f of x. That means this is the quantity which is varying with this variable. Here this variable x we are calling as independent variable on which some function, this f is varying. This we call as function in mathematics when this independent variable becomes t and this becomes some physical quantity. Let us say voltage, current told by our friend. So this becomes what we call this as a signal. And the next we will come to frequency. You all know the definition of frequency. I will ask you one question. Just tell me the frequency of this signal. It repeats for every one second the same cycle. What is the frequency of this signal? This function? We have the second hertz. Right? For so one second it is repeating. So obviously one by one that will be one hertz. The frequency of the signal will be 1 hertz. So now I will ask you one more question. What will be the frequency of this signal? It also repeats with the time period 1. What will be the frequency of the signal? Same. Why you are hesitating to say that? Say, but the quantity is not changing in the same way, right? Right? Is it changing in the same way? Here it is varying in some manner, it is varying linearly. But what happened here? It is repeating in the same time period. But you are hesitating to say that the frequency of the signal is not one hertz. So, here what I would like to say is, for some signals, some sinusoidal signals, some such kind of signals, you can say the frequency of the signal has particular quantity. Let us say the signal's frequency is 1 hertz. But if you take one more signal, <coughs> I take a RAM signal, a RAM function. What is the frequency of that signal? You know, this is time scale, origin something is time scale, don't confuse. And this is the amplitude of the signal, the y axis. What will be the frequency of the signal? We don't know, right? So, that is why this Fourier analysis we use here in spectral analysis. This Fourier analysis, what it will do is, this is transformation technique as far as mathematician concerned, but as far as a signal processing engineer or a communication engineer concerned, this gives us the frequency response of the signal. Like, 
the signal is looks like this is sinusoidal in the time domain. How it looks like in frequency domain when you plot this signal with the frequency here in the x domain you are taking the time scale in the what x domain if you take the frequency frequency thing and the this thing the strength of the signal if you take how the signal looks in the frequency domain that is what the main aim of the spectral analysis that is why we go for fourier series not only the fourier series there are one more thing fourier transform then why why these things are fourier series is for the periodic signals like this that means which gives the spectrum of the signal for this kind of signal it gives the spectrum fourier series in this fourier series two types of series are there again it is subdivided that means the, the way you think i will come to that how we up, how we arrive at fourier series and then next how we go to fourier transform and all and then next fourier transform is for continuous signals like this if you find out the fourier transform of such kind of a signal it will give you the frequency domain response of the signal here in the sine sinusoidal signal we are saying this signal frequency is 1 hertz so if you plot that thing in the frequency domain this is the frequency axis somewhere here will be the 1 and the signal strength is let us say this is some 1 okay but here it will be like this right 1 hertz in the frequency domain whereas there it is a second time domain if we convert that into frequency domain how it looks that's what the importance of this fourier series and spectral analysis so how we arrive at the at those things and all the things we'll discuss now this is just to give you what is a spectrum spectrum is nothing but the frequency domain representation of the signal this what we call this as the spectrum of the sinusoidal signal right here this if you let us say if this amplitude is 1 1 minus 1 what will be the amplitude here that will come we'll discuss next After deriving Fourier series, from that how we come up with the spectrum of the signal, all the things will come. And this is just give you the idea of brief idea of spectrum. And before going to the proper things, I would like to ask you all: How many music lovers are here? How many music lovers? I hope all. Yeah, listening. How many listen music? All the people will listen. You use some player or some iPod use. Then you use some equalizer thing, right? You all know that equalizer. Equalizer. Yes. You know that. Bass. In the equalizer, some pre-settings will be there. Some bass, treble, jazz, rock, soft rock, all the things. And some uh, you can manually change the settings also. What is there? What you are changing there? Spectrum. What you are changing there? So ultimately, you are changing the spectrum of the signal. What is the frequency of the audio audio signal frequency range? It is from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Let us say I am drawing it in the frequency domain. Audio signal range is from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. So the sig the signal will be in this region only. Our audio signal will be whatever you are listening like music in this region only. The audio signal will be there. And in the equalizer where you are playing some you are you listen music to some players or something else. There is the equalizer. some light blinking something will be there it it is not stable with the music it moves the light wave it moves like this it comes up down comes up down what is that thing there 20 hertz some 100 hertz 1 kilohertz like that some divisions will be there at each frequency how the signal strength is that's what you you there you get the spectrum of your audio signal whatever the music you are listening there you get the thing and in the equalizer where you change is you change something suppose if you want to hear bass you want bass effect more bass effect you will increase this lower frequency range because the drums drums frequency is very low that's in the range of 20 to 100 hertz so if you increase this thing what you are doing you are operating on the signal in the frequency domain time domain is the audio signal what you are getting it will be like zig zag thing like this it will be audio signal it varies this is in the time domain In the frequency domain, what you are doing is you are changing the characteristics of the time domain signal. So, for your as for your convenience, you are changing all the settings. That is the spectrum. That is the best example for that thing. That is fine. 